it's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. I can't really move because if I move too much, this is going to come undone. And this is not technically an off-the-shoulder shirt. This is actually a sports bra, so i got to be a little stiff. <laughs> today, I am bringing you guys this look right here. I just wanted to sit down today in front of the camera and just play with some color, do something that i don't know this looks so youthful so summery and it's just so pretty and the most important part is that it goes with my instagram feed aesthetically pleasing problems i know that it's a lot i know that this is not your typical everyday grocery shopping type of look but today i just wanted to be fun and just do something that i wanted to do and not really think about if it's wearable or not wearable i just wanted to play with some color play with some new techniques some new products and that is pretty much it if you want to see how to get this look then just go ahead and keep on watching alrighty we are ready to start I kind of switched up my lights a bit a bit just to make it look more realistic because I feel like my past tutorials have looked like too blue and too harsh so I hope this light is a little bit better if not let me know and I can keep tweaking it here and there but I am starting with my eyelids already primed and my eyebrows already done I went ahead and I primed them with the Maybelline fit me concealer in shade number 20 and I set it with the lives of drag palette with this white shade and I'll tell you guys the brush I use the brush this is the crown it doesn't have a name but I just pretty much just set that concealer into place to prepare us for eyeshadow. My inspiration for this look that I have is a picture I actually saw from Kylie Jenner and I'll post the picture right here so you can see it. She has on this beautiful yellow eye with a pale pink lip and I think I want to do something like that. This is going to be more editorial. This is not really like an everyday. This is just for fun and because I don't know, I just want to film this look. So, yeah. I'm going to go in with Campy with this that yellow shade and the Sigma E35. And I am going to begin to place this in my crease. From inner corner all the way to the outer corner. I'm really going to buff that into my crease. Okay, so here is one layer of it. It's definitely very pigmented, but it's not as pigmented as I wanted it to be for this look so I'm just gonna keep packing on layers I'm just gonna do the same exact thing until I get the pigmentation that I am going for and then when I get here to the outer corner I'm just gonna wing it out because I really want that wing cat ish look I'm gonna go ahead and take a Luxie 213 and I'm gonna go back in with that campy shade and I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. I wanna add just a tad bit of dimension to the look. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Sickening and I am just going to apply a little bit of this on the crease just to add a little dimension. And then go back in with that shader brush and just apply this all over the lid once again and then go back in with that blending brush and just blend it out go ahead and do the same exact thing to the other eye pretty simple pretty big okay so the eyes are pretty much done they look a little crazy but don't worry they'll come together <laughs> hopefully at the end of the tutorial. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start now on the skin and then we'll come back and finish the eyes in a bit. I'm gonna start off by priming the skin and I'm gonna use two of my favorite primers ever. I used to use these primers all the time together and I love how they work. So we're gonna use it today. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I first go in with the Optical Illusion Primer and I apply a layer of this all over the skin. Once that's blended into the skin, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I'm gonna do one pump of that and apply it all over the skin as well. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Becca Under Eye Corrector and I am going to use this under my eyes just to color correct and just kind of brighten that up a bit. And then also anywhere where I have redness, I know this is technically from the for the under eyes, but 
but I pretty much just use this anywhere where I have some redness. Take my finger and I'm gonna blend it out because since it is such a thin product, I feel like it works best when you blend it out with your finger rather than when you go in with a brush. I feel like when you go in with a brush, you kind of remove some of that product. So I always, when using this particular product, I always like to go ahead and blend it out with my finger. For foundation, I am going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade M10. And I am going to apply this. Let me take about two pumps of this. And I'm going to apply it using my Morphe E54. I don't know where my Sedona Lace Brush is that I've been loving recently, so this one will do. I'm just going to buff that into the skin. Now I'm going to go in to concealer and I am using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. I am going to apply this under the eyes and any areas where I want to further highlight. Okay, so I'm going to take the Maybelline Concealer and I'm just going to apply it on the center of my face, like down the bridge, up in here, and some more here. As you can see, it's like the perfect match to the NARS Gradient Creamy Concealer. It's crazy. I'm gonna take my little sponge from um, Beauty Blender, wow. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend out my concealer under the eyes and in the other areas of the face. Okay, and now I'm going to set my under eyes using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 05, and I'm gonna take it with that same beauty sponge. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, but this time in the shade number 20, which matches my skin tone pretty perfect. This is a great match for me. And I'm gonna take it with a bigger sponge, and I am just going to use this to set the rest of my face. I'm just gonna pounce that in. Before we go ahead and dust off the under eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and finish them. I'm just gonna take any pencil brush and I'm gonna go back in with that yellow shade Campy. And I'm just going to apply this in my lower lash line. I'm not gonna take a little bit of sickening with that same pencil brush. And I'm just going to blend this a little bit in the lower portion of my eye, like right in here just to add some shadow to the eye look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the under eye bakish that we have. And dust that off. I'm gonna go ahead and take an eyebrow pencil that's a couple shades lighter than my natural eyebrow color. It's the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Honey Brown. And I'm just gonna draw in some freckles. I naturally do have freckles, if you notice, in my skin. I'll see if I can post a picture. Um, I have freckles that I have acquired during the years due to sun exposure because I don't remember ever having as many freckles as I have now. And I do think they look really pretty on me, but I apply so much makeup that I always cover them up. Highly in this particular image that I'm looking at for reference has some freckles on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just try to do the same thing. So I'm just taking this very little amount very little and i'm just lightly tapping and doing like a little circle so i tap and i circle i tap and i do like a little a little little circle i like to draw my freckles in first just because when we go in with bronzer and blush and all of that it's going to make it blend a little bit better into the skin so that they look really nice and natural okay see how it looks pretty natural. It looks like it's not even there, but when you photograph, it'll give you a nice little hint of freckles. So now we can go in and highlight and contour and all of that. So I'm gonna start off by highlighting and I am taking the Kylie Cosmetics Santorini Loose Highlighting Powder. And I really like this powder. It is very, very intense. So use it very, very lightly. I like to go in with a little bit of product and then I build up if I feel like I need to. If not, then I'll just leave it like that. I'm just going to apply this right here. It's very, very intense. Whoa, too much, too much, too much. See, it's like very, very, very intense. So I'm just gonna buff that in. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit with my finger and apply it not that much, not that much. 
I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the skin using my Benefit Hula bronzer. I like this bronzer because it's pretty cool tone. It's pretty neutral, so it's gonna keep that freshness editorial look that we have going on right now. So I'm just gonna pop some of this right here on the temple area and then bring it down in here. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the highlight of Santorini and I'm just gonna place that with my finger just in the center of my forehead just to add just a little bit of luminosity in the center. If you have oily skin, you might not like this, but my skin is pretty dehydrated, so I can definitely use a little bit of highlight. So moving on to blush, I'm gonna be taking this Kevin Aquan. This is the Neo Blush in Pink Sand. It's a soft, dusty pink shade, and I think it's gonna complement this look really pretty because we are going for those pinky tones. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the blush, tap it off, and apply it right here in the apple of the cheek. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a coat of mascara. I'm using Mali Beauty Smoky Mama Mascara. I've talked about this so much on my channel recently. I love this mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a coat of that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes. Today I'm using the Baddington Lashes in the Style Monroe. These are super duper natural lashes, which I think is gonna complement the look really well. I feel like if you do something really dramatic, it's gonna take away from the whole editorial aspect of the look. You can definitely leave it like this, but I am gonna go in with a strip of lash. Alrighty, so the lashes are on, and as you can see, they're super duper natural. They complement the eye look really well. You can still see everything, but they just make your lashes look nice and wispy, which I really like. Alrighty, so the only thing that we are missing is our lips. In the picture that I saw, Kylie's lips are like this really intensely pink baby pink. So we're gonna try to do the same thing today. I'm taking the Bluxum, Bluxum, the Bluxum. I'm taking the Buxom Plump Line and my eyelash, my eyelash glue is still drying, so don't mind that. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner, in, Plump Line Lip Liner, the Plump Line Lip Liner in the shade Ramson. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. Okay, so now that the lips are lined, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Milkshake. I think this is the nudiest nude I own because it's really, really nude, like super duper nude. Give it a couple minutes for that liquid lipstick to dry and then we're gonna go back in with the lip liner and just kind of fill everything in again and just go back in and add a little bit of a darker shade in with my lip liner and I'm just gonna fill in the edges a little bit and bring it in okay, so the last thing that we have to do is go ahead and spray some makeup setting spray I'm using the elf active post workout setting spray Alrighty, you guys so that is pretty much it this is the final look I thought it wasn't gonna be as wearable but looking at it right now in the mirror I would totally actually do, would wear this out maybe I'll wear it today to my father-in-law's birthday dinner hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video I just wanted to sit down and play with makeup to something a little bit fun and colorful and I hope you guys liked it if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel give the video a big thumbs up and share it with your family and friends and that is pretty much it i love you and i will see you very soon with a new video Mwah.